you are unable to plan for conception since you do not know your day of ovulation. Today, I am going to explain to you the signs that you need to watch out for to know that I must be ovulating today. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Raisha, a pharmacist and a fertility and women's health expert. My friend, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. How do I know I am ovulating? Let me give you a short story. We had two ladies, Lily and Rose. And so they wanted to grow flowers in their gardens. And so they went out there and bought seeds. Lily came with the seeds and threw them in her garden, hoping for them to grow. R Rose hesitated a little bit and she said, let me first research and know the best time to plant my seeds because she knew the importance of timing. And so when the flowers grew, Lily's flowers were a little bit inconsistent. Some grew early, others grew late, and some did not grow at all. But for Rose, her garden was full of flowers that were fragrant with vibrant colors. What was her secret? She knew the best time to plant her seeds. She knew the importance of choosing the perfect season. For couples trying to conceive, knowing your ovulation day is very critical. In my last video, I explained to you how you can calculate your safe days, your fertile days, and your ovulation days. I want you please to go and watch that video. Today I'm going to explain to you some of the signs that you need to watch out for to know that I am ovulating today. I might be ovulating today. And so let's get started. The first sign that you need to watch out for is cervical mucus. After menstruation, it is usually dry and there is minimal amount of discharge. Before ovulation, the discharge is there and it is creamy. During ovulation, the discharge is slippery. It is egg white in color and a little bit stretchy. Such that when you scoop it with your fingers and put it in between your fingers like that, it stretches alongside your fingers. And you could observe your cervical mucus to help you know when you are ovulating. Another sign is breast tenderness and soreness. You feel a tingling sensation in your breast at this time. And sometimes you could think, what if I'm sick? What if I have cancer? But after two days or even three days or even one day, it goes away and you even forget that you had the skin in the first place. Another thing is breast enlargement. Now, during this time, you look at them and are like, mm, we are growing. But after one or two days, they are back to the normal size and you're like, well, what happened? It is ovulation, my dear friend. Another sign is cravings. Yes, cravings are not only found in pregnant women. Some women during ovulation have cravings. You find at this time you're craving certain foods seriously. They also have heightened senses of smell and taste. Another sign. Now, this is a good one. Let me come closer. Increased libido. Mm -hmm. Men usually say they don't understand women that... Sometimes she keeps pushing you away, but other times she's begging you do not push her away. It is not us. It is ovulation, my friend. She is having what we call egg excitement. Mm -hmm. Another sign that you could watch out for is increased in basal temperatures. You find at that time you feel that your body temperatures are a little bit high. Another one is abdominal bloating. You feel bloated at this particular point point in the month. Now, technology is very good because nowadays we have test kits that women could use to know their ovulation days. And these test kits can be found in your local pharmacies. And these test kits are such as the Aerovita ovulation test kit, the Recare ovulation test kit, and also another one called Acufast LH Midstream ovulation test kit. But did you know there are some women who do not ovulate? Yes. We call this an ovulation. Let us look at some of the causes of an ovulation. Number one, premenopause. This is the period before a woman hits menopause. 
usually between the age of 45 years and above. I like looking at it like a race. This woman is nearing the end of this race. Her menstrual cycles are becoming irregular. The ovary is no longer releasing eggs. She is winding up her reproductive journey. Another cause is family planning. The birth control pills, the implants that contain levonorgestrel, these hormones interfere with the hormones that are necessary for ovulation. Another one is a condition that we call the polycystic ovarian syndrome. This is characterized by many cysts in the ovary, and these cysts usually interfere with ovulation and hence causing an ovulation. Another reason is primary ovarian failure. This is whereby the ovary fails. And when the ovary fails, it is not releasing eggs, hence there is no ovulation. Another one is the diminished egg reserves. Let me tell you, when women are born, we are born with all our eggs, approximately one to two million eggs. I like to call it all eggs in one basket. And so with time, these eggs die, maybe due to disease, due to injury. Some are released during ovulation, leading to menstruation. And so these eggs could finish, could be depleted before menopause. And when a woman has a diminished egg reserve, then she will not ovulate. And this could be another thing that causes an ovulation. Another thing is hormonal imbalance. When the body does not have adequate levels of hormones, such as the follicle-stimulating hormone, the luteinizing hormone, estrogen, progesterone, and this could lead to an ovulation. And those are some of the causes of an ovulation. I really hope that by now you know the signs that you need to watch out for to know your ovulation day. If you like this video, my friend, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, my friend, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and hit the notification bell down below.